he was really never a power. He was a, he was a, what we called a power bodybuilder. Don Ross named him a power bodybuilder because he would do with the bodybuilding lifts, but he was like crazy strong. And he had his own little way of doing things using momentum and just lifting ridiculous amounts of weight that if anyone else tried, they would kill themselves. I remember so, someone just recently sent me an email saying uh, with a with a YouTube clip of Jimmy doing bicep curls, and he's like, "That's not bicep curl." Because Jimmy would do, when he would curl, whether it be one arm or dumbbell, he would bring the, he would bring the dumbbell up like this. And he would do, Hoo! and he would do 150s like that. And I said, you know what? It, it doesn't look like a conventional bicep curl. You try to do it. It's actually harder than a regular bicep curl. Because he was using his, he's bringing the, the dumbbell this high. Normally, you bring a dumbbell right up to here, right? He's bringing it up to here. So even though he's using his front delt to do it, it's an insane lift that if anyone else tried, they'd probably tear their bicep. So Jimmy was, you know, I remember going back to World Gym Babylon. This was 1991, I think it was. I had moved back to Long Island from Westchester, which is where I was going to med school. I had taken the year off, and I was training at this gym. And every maybe once a week, this guy would come in, and he'd bring his own bench with <laughs> his own bar. And he'd be, like, lifting and making these loud grunting noises. <laughs> Every set, everyone's looking. I mean, he was outrageously loud, but they let him train there. The owner knew him. So I don't, I, I don't know. At some point, I, we introduced ourselves, and, and that's how I met him. And, you know, I really, he, I was very intimidating at first because he was a scary guy. He was, he was scary looking. He was very strong. And, you know, you, you think that he's an unapproachable guy, but, it, you know, after talking to him a couple times, he was like really laid back. Uh, we started, you know, chatting with each other, you know, um, at the gym and then before I knew it he had gotten a contract with Metrex and I always wanted to work for Metrex and so I, one thing led to another I don't know how he did it he said you know I get all these boxes of Metrex packets I said I love them I'm using like six a day he's like you want them I, I don't even use them I said great so I used to go over to his house and pick up the boxes of Metrex he would just give them to me he never used the shakes and uh, and, and, so, and so you know I would I would bring him little gifts and stuff like that because I felt bad he would never take money from me and then we just became friends because of that. And so uh, now I wound up working for Metrex, and then we started working booths together, and then we really became tight because we would fly out together to different shows. And uh, that's how I met Jimmy. You know, it was just we clicked. Sometimes you just meet someone and, you know, you, you hit it off. And I didn't think I was going to hit it off because he, he looked very unapproachable. But a lot of people told me that about myself, that I was unapproachable, looked unapproachable. I looked intimidating. So it was, it was great. We were like uh, two goofballs together. It was gr and I had a great time. And uh, after he stopped competing, you know, I... He, I kind of lost track a little bit with him for maybe a year or two. He was going through a divorce. And then, you know, uh, I got him. I said, you got to come on this TV show. We had started the TV show. And, uh, and then, you know, the rest is history. That was 13 years ago.